straight. Favorite one to do. My favorite, because I get to do the witchy things. But it can be a little bit challenging. First things first, most people have an issue of how do they get here from Wanda. We can all sit here, put our fingers between there. We want to figure out how to get from point A and flow it around to point B. So, the best way I can explain is when you're looking down at your wand, behind it, towards yourself, when the front is facing away from you, you're going to notice that there is a gap. The width of your wand should be just wide enough for at any point in the flight to slip your thumb in the two. So the goal there, while you're wanding, is to somehow get the wand where you're comfortable, not knocking it off kilter. So sometimes you might miss, you might hit it up with the top of your thumb. Sometimes that is actually the easiest way to get to it, is to just do like a quick illusion so that you slightly grab and then just feed your thumb in. Or, if you can practice it enough, get the wand nice and smooth, just see where it is, and just slip your thumb into the cloak with the close left, your left hand, the left thumb goes into the left string, and just pull under. What you want to do then is you're going to bring the string to a triangle and keep it as taut as possible. So when it's nice and tight, for me, since I do a hand angle, I do a nice little wrap so that my finger, my thumb, actually creates a point of the triangle there. A variety of ways, whatever you're most comfortable with the hand angle, you just want to keep the same point that this thumb is creating happening over here somewhere. So from there, if you loosen it up, it's going to wibble wobble, kind of go a little crazy, but if you keep it nice and tight, that is going to be your best way to keep it upright, keep it stationary, to push it and do tricks with it this way, to do cradles. Now, if you have the grip tape, sometimes this can actually help or be harmful to your learning this. If it sticks to the string behind it too much, it'll catch and knock it off, uh, knock, knock off kilter. In the same vein, it might help you to, to actually uh, do the tricks with the wand is not sliding along the string. Depends on what you get used to. Uh, totally can be done in the astral. It has its own set of balancing. Uh, I've done it with, without the, the grip tape to it. I've done it without the end caps, with grip tape, the whole, whole thing. It's just, it just depends on how much practice you put into it. Um, from there, you can always slip out of it or stay in it and look like you aren't in there anymore and expand the triangle. When you're doing the expansion, if you want to keep your hands further and further apart, same rule applies. You've got to keep it nice and tight. You can bounce it up and down as long as it's that tight. It's not going anywhere. Slide it back and forth. The string can go through. Goal, though, is keep this top string from hitting the wand while you're doing it. When it hits that, that's when you're going to knock it forward, backwards, and kind of sideways and fall out of, the, out of control. If you want to just get out of it, the other one. Show you again one more time. When you're spinning, look for the gap. Slide in and create the triangle. All about some practice and finesse.